right, so it's next day now. We're out here in my favorite zip code of 38127. And as you just saw, we had a closing yesterday. And I'm sitting outside of the house now that we just closed on. Now, this is a part of 38127 called North Haven. And to be completely honest, this neighborhood is very hard to resell. However, at the same time, for some investors, it is a great area for opportunity and growth. Now, the other day, I did talk to some investors on why they do or don't invest in North Haven, and I've got gotten several different responses. But for most, what it comes down to on why they won't invest in North Haven is that you have an area here that is full of blight, crime, and vacant properties. North Haven used to be a really nice neighborhood, but I got different opinions on how it got to this point. But just to kind of put things in perspective, again, North Haven is in 38127, but it is away from the main area where all of the businesses are, gas stations, stores, grocery stores, and uh, just all the other places that you would need to get your things from. And also as far as job opportunities to go, for people in the neighborhood, there aren't a lot of places for them to work that are right in the vicinity. So we'll talk about the bad first, what's going on in North Haven, and then we'll talk about why some investors are actually able to invest here and make a decent return on their money. This is one of the only stores that's nearby for residents. Uh, for the most part, this is what they have unless they have um, unless they go ahead and travel into the main Fraser area. We'll start with the issue of vacant properties in North Haven. Now this one is right across the street from the uh, the property whose contract we just sold. And on this street alone, there may be another two or three houses that are vacant, boarded up uh, with trash in the front yard. But we'll take a look at a few more just in the area. All right, now this house is on the same street, maybe two or three houses down from the one we were just sitting at. And there are two houses right next to each other. So I pull up to the next house and the next house has been taken over by the city. And you can see the, the green sticker on the door is a sheriff sticker. So, all right, just a few more houses down and there's one more vacant house and two houses over from that one. We've got another one. And again, a third one. Actually, this is the fifth one on the same street that's vacant. But we'll see if we can find any more. Now on this street, I would say that close to maybe a quarter of the houses are vacant. So we have one right there, one right here. And across the street, there's one that looks like at some point they were doing rehab on it and just stopped. And if we go down a little more, the one right next to it is also vacant. Across the street again, and we've got another one that's vacant. And one more right across the street from it. And drove almost 15 seconds before we found a couple more so let's go straight ahead we got another one that's vacant in this cove now, ironically the house is completely burnt down in the back but they want you to keep out so we're going to do what they say and just keep moving if you look straight ahead we see we got another one with the sheriff sign on it so i'll stop right there with the vacant properties because if i try to show you all of them that are in the area i mean i i would be all day but another issue that i found here after just doing some research with North Haven being an unincorporated area, the residents here, they have to rely on getting their own trash services. So in the main part of the city, the, um, the city actually takes care of, of trash pickup and everything. But here you have to, to contract a service to come and get trash pickup for you. So for some of these houses, you just have 
um, trash that's just sitting in the front of the house and you have dump sites where people have just thrown a bunch of trash. So some streets, they're just not the cleanest of streets. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on this sign just a little bit, a no dumping sign, but of course, right below the sign, somebody has dumped all of their trash right here. So we got two examples here of trash just in front of the house. And there's another vacant property. Another with some dump trash that was never picked up. Trash right there. I don't even know if we caught that one. But even next to that, another vacant property. All right, guys. So it's next day. Um, if you wonder why I have on a different shirt, but my phone battery died yesterday while I was out here in North Haven. So I went ahead and made a second trip out just to talk about some of the positive aspects of, of being an investor in North Haven. Um, just based on some some conversations that I had with a couple of other investors who are doing quite well in the area. And just a disclaimer, I'm not a investor or I don't have any property in North Haven. I do have some in Fraser, however. But I'll go ahead and post a clip of the property that that we just sold to an investor who was uh, buying heavy in North Haven. Now you have to understand that the house that he bought, um, which you're seeing now, he bought this property for $21,000 and it is already completely rehab. Um, there's nothing that needs to be done minus basic cleanup and um, some cosmetics, which, which could really be optional. But for what he paid for $21,000, a completely rehab house that he can go ahead and move a tenant into um, immediately, he got a great value for his money. Now, of course, that will also depend on how he manages um, his tenants, but you, you can find good tenants for the area. So when you hear people say that nobody is actually buying in North Haven, um, that's really just a myth. Uh, you can see new construction and rehab going on in the area. And there are some streets which have, which have been completely rehabbed uh, with virtually no vacant property. So there are some signs of the area coming back around, but at the time there are still investors who are afraid to invest in the area. But what we'll do now is go ahead and do a quick drive through of the area and look for some of the, the um, rehabs that are going on. All right, so hopefully the sun isn't too bright, but here's one that has recently been rehabbed and currently up for rent. All right, so I don't want to stop in the middle of the street, but if you look right here on the left, that's some new construction that's going on. So a brand new house is being put up right here in North Haven. I had to point these two houses out on the side. These are a couple of new builds and just great looking houses. going down this street you don't really have any vacant properties and the entire street is just really clean the houses are well kept anyway that was just a quick drive through of North Haven and again I'm a neutral party on whether you invest in or don't invest in it I don't necessarily have a preference for North Haven uh, but I will say that if I see an opportunity that I will take it now on the issue of that there is nobody buying in North Haven um, that's just not true and I'll show you how to find out who was buying in North Haven um, and around what price range that they are buying in but oftentimes I'll have newer guys to send me properties in North Haven and ask me if I have anybody for it uh, well the thing is I do have a couple of buyers for North Haven that are solid um, that's how I was able to to sell the contract for the one that um, I just played the clip for but the thing is no matter what house you try to sell or resell, sell the contract for, what have you, if your price isn't right, it's just not going to move. But I'm headed back now to do some research just to show you guys how to find out who is buying in North Haven, or if you're in another city, um, how to find out who is buying in your hard to sell areas. All right, so we're looking at a map of the area that I just left now, 38127. And down here in this bottom corner is Frazier. And way up here in the top corner, I'll wait for us to repopulate. Uh, this is North Haven, the area that I rode around and talked about today. So what we're going to do, and again, a lot of people don't like to use Zillow, but for some basic things like sales, you can use Zillow. It's pretty accurate. 
but what we're going to do is take away properties that are for sale now any potential listings and we're going to go to recently sold all right so all over 38127 you can see that there's quite a bit of sales activity but we'll narrow it down to the last six months and we're just going to do six months because I, I've noticed that there is a bit of a lag in some of the other uh, sales data so we'll do six months and let's go over to North Haven and zoom in zoom back out some just to see if it will populate correctly so we see that there is some sales activity and it looks like somebody bought a bulk package so whenever you see a big number that's completely out of place like this on Zillow those are usually bulk packages that somebody's bought but the numbers that people are buying in are fairly consistent 13,000, 20,000, 14,000, um, 16,000, 20,000 the one that we sold was for 21,000 so if you get a contract you'll want to be under those numbers some of the lower numbers here's one for eight eight five and it's a two bedroom a couple for 44 which I would imagine were probably turnkey properties or properties that were um, sold as a package with a tenant already in place and also the management but but what I'll do now is click on one of the properties and show you how to find out who the buyer is so this property was sold back in September so a few months back but not too long ago now once you get towards the bottom of the page um, in Shelby County you can click on this tab called County website and I won't click it now because I don't want to give away um, the owner's information if you want to feel free to practice with Zillow finding out who owns properties and getting their information in case you want to see if they are somebody that you want to work with or potentially start sending them deals but for different counties the website to use may be different but what you can do also is always go to a property click on it take the address and just go to your assessor's website or maybe the trustees website or whatever site you can go to um, that gives you public information but as you can see you do have investors who are buying in troubled areas just like North Haven and you can do this for pretty much any city I would imagine and you can also get a feel for the prices that you would need to be under in order to make a resale but that's it guys I uh, just wanted to show you that real quick if you're new to real estate or if you thought the information was helpful entertaining or any of that good stuff be sure to like share and subscribe um, you can also follow my journey on the page I'm going through everything my day-to-day -day activities so feel free to join me on this journey and I'll see you guys next time